But tonight, 7 News is taking you behind the scenes to a place that very few people get to see firsthand, the Astronaut Training Center in Houston. It's where a Colorado man is getting ready to take command of the International Space Station. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart discovering nothing is simple in space. We have auto sequence start in just weeks. Three astronaut Steve Swanson two will soar into space. One we have ignition of the Soyuz. A 200 mile trip to the International Space Station module that is facing us. Just All right, so this is Node One, and this is where the commander in training is getting ready. Do you ever get claustrophobic in here? <laughs> no. Seven News was given rare access. We you allowed to go up there inside the replica of the space station at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. This will be your home for the next six months. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, and this is actually this is where we eat. We eat in Node One. Uh, this is actually the table that you eat on. Close quarters, despite its football field size. Where do you sleep? You sleep in these, but we do still use the same sleeping bags pretty much. And we'll put the sleeping bags on the back side over here. We'll sleep back there. Uh, and then on the front side over here, we actually have a laptop we'll have in front of us so we can do email. Uh, you know, keep in touch with the family and all that kind of stuff, listen to music. And what's basic on Earth... This is the bathroom. ...is different in space. The hose, which you can imagine what that's used for. Training on the ground... ...and underwater. A big part of the preparation, this massive pool. It's 40 feet deep. Down below, actual replicas of the space station so astronauts can train for spacewalks. Doing the runs in the pool is physically demanding. Yeah, you know, you're underwater for six, seven hours. Astronauts suit up, learning the exterior of the station just in case there's an emergency repair in space. It's one thing to look out the window. It's another thing to be in space. Yeah, that's a true thing. It's a big difference just going outdoor. You're holding on to like a handrail and you look down and 250 miles below you is the Earth. This trip to the heavens didn't happen by accident. Swanson says it may have to do with his upbringing in the Colorado mountains. My parents would, you know, just tell me, go explore. They just barely, you know, get out of here. And I'd just go hike around, you know, uh, the areas where we were camping. And I used to love doing that. And I think that kind of is the same idea. I just love to explore. Swanson's been to space before on the shuttle. But this voyage is different. Six months away means missing a family milestone. I miss him, but the big thing is my youngest is going to graduate from high school and go off to college, and I'm going to miss that whole aspect of that. Exchanging a once-in-a-lifetime moment on Earth for another in space. It's like the best playground you could ever get. In Houston, Mark Stewart, 7 News. And there is a lot more to see on the 7 News app. You'll see how video game technology is part of astronaut training. Get a taste for what foods they bring into space and why. Just go to Top Stories on the 7 News app.